While browsing the internet, as one does, I stumbled upon this meme. Do bugs even take full damage? Now, a normal person would simply go, hmm, laugh, and then move on. However, since my brain functions like a mouse on a caffeine binge, I instead went, huh, I should make a video on this. So, here we are. Do bugs take fall damage? Let's get into it. So to begin, the real fancy way of asking this is, do insects get hurt by falling? Yes, I'm gonna be that guy. To answer that question, mostly no. The main reason is because most insects have wings. So if an insect were to fall off of something, they can simply fly away. That's kind of obvious. However, many insects don't have wings. So what about those ones? Well, for insects that don't have wings, they will drop to their death and die a horrible, gruesome death. Actually, just kidding. Most of them will be perfectly fine. This is because of weight. Most insects don't weigh that much at all. The force of impact is proportional to the mass of the object involved. In simpler terms, big thing go boom, small thing go wee. Yes, science! To add, insects also have exoskeletons, which are surprisingly really good at protecting an insect. Now you may be thinking, must not be all that good if I can squish most insects with my finger. Which might be true, but let's go back to that first point. The force of impact is proportional to the mass of an object involved. So if you, a human, have a big finger and decide to press that finger into a tiny little bug, you are applying force. Thus, that force is proportional to the size of your finger. Since your finger is probably bigger than that bug, that bug loses. So most of the time, and with most insects, falling from a great height is perfectly okay. That insect will usually live and have no real damage. Now I'm going to cheat a bit and talk about spiders, which are arachnids. However, when most people talk about bugs, they're usually talking about insects and arachnids. Now I'm going to be that guy again because this is an education video and I like science. Did y'all know that the term bug actually has a technical definition? Get on with it. A bug, in terms of entomology, the study of bugs, is any insect in the order Hematera, which is the order of insects with sucking mouthparts. Bug is also commonly used as slang for all insects, much to the annoyance of some entomologists. <laughs> bug. Anyways, I have arachnophobia on top of my fear of most insects, so this sucks for me. But yes, some spiders are the exception. The bigger a bug gets, the more force it has upon impact. So if you were to drop a tarantula, that tarantula will actually be damaged depending on the height of the drop. I know many people who keep tarantulas as pets, and their greatest fear is dropping their tarantula. More than anything else. Not the fact they can shoot butt hairs. Not their big scary fangs. Nope. Dropping it. Okay, in fairness, you don't want the tarantula to die. They are great, docile little pets. Just please keep all of them far, far away from me. So to wrap it up, insects mostly do not take fall damage because most insects are small and they have exoskeletons. If an insect is bigger, it can definitely end up hurting itself. If an insect falls into something dangerous like water, fire, a salad, so on, the insect will likely die. Yet if it has a flat surface, most of the time it will be okay. Hopefully you guys found this interesting and until next time, take care.